Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add a custom Favicon to your website with just a simple plugin. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to the plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. And this plugin is going to be called Real Favicon or Favicon. From there we're going to go ahead and install it. You're going to see it's the very first one right here. Install now. And then once this is installed, we're going to go ahead and activate it. And once this is activated, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the Appearance menu. And you're going to see a new menu called Favicon. Let's click that. From here, we just have a simple setting. So we're just going to go ahead and upload the image that we're going to use for the Favicon. And this is going to be on my desktop. Right here. Now you need to use a pretty large image. I am uploading a 400 by 400 just to be safe, but it's recommended that you do 260 by 260. So once we have the image uploaded here, we're going to go ahead and generate it. This is going to take you to a third party website uh, for the developer, and they're going to go ahead and ask you to do a couple of settings. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and add a solid white background, and maybe adjust my margin a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the Android platform. And I'm going to also name it, name my app. From there, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing for the Windows Phone. And we're going to also do the same thing for the touch bar and the pin tab for Mac OS Safari. Now, I want to go ahead and let's just make this green. All right, perfect. Let's go over here to the generator options. We're going to go to app name, and we're going to go ahead and spec uh, specify an app name right here for coaching. That's what I want it to be. Once you have those settings to where you want, you're going to go ahead and generate your favicons. From there, it's only going to take a couple of seconds, and then what you're going to do is going to it's going to go ahead and redirect you back to your website, and it's giving you a notice that you should always keep this plugin active because if you deactivate it, then your favorite time goes away as well. It shows you a little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like on iOS, desktop, and a few other devices. And then from there, you're done. Um, you can go ahead and see that there's no uh, favorite time right here at the top. But once I go ahead and refresh the page, you can see that it appears. And we can go ahead to the live site and see that it's right there um, for everybody to see. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.